Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be going for the monthly free assets for February 2021. So this month we've got five amazing different items that we're going to be using. So we've got the stylized modular character pack, a winter forest set, supermarket, boss enemy animations, and an industrial area hangar. So we've got some nice little things here. So we've got character customization and a lot of good assets as well as animations. So I'll have links in the description down below to all of these pages and it won't just be the monthly free one so it will be their actual marketplace page so that even after this month is over you can still go check out this stuff but obviously it won't be free anymore. As well as the links I've also got timestamps in the video as well so you can go to each individual marketplace item so we've got the five different ones, we've got five different areas in which you can go to so you can just skip straight to that part of the video. So I'm just going to be giving you a quick overview of what these are, how they look, my opinions on them, stuff like that. And so yeah, let's get into it and you can see what we've got. So first up, we've got the stylized modular character. So you can see here on screen, it's just spinning around in the circle now. This is the screen that you have in the overview anyway. So it just spins around in a circle and you can change between male and female like so. You can also spin it around with a mouse as well. And up in the top right, you can hit face details and then you can change what the actual face looks like as well. So you can see we can change the hair, the eyebrows, the beard and the face shape. Again, these are different for both male and female but they're very similar. So just going through all the different hairstyles we have now, some of them are actually hats as well, and these look great. And then we've also got the eyebrows here as well. So there's lots of different customizations that we have here. So in total, there's 71 different parts, and it is rigged to the epic skeleton. However, there aren't any animations included in this, but Mike, the person who made this, has said on the marketplace that this does work with Mixmo as well, so you can upload this to Mixmo and it will still work perfectly for you with those animations. And now we can also change the clothes as well. So again, there's a lot of different variety and customizations with the clothes, so your player can really get to just customizing their character to how they want it to look when they're playing the game. So again, you can change their top, their gloves, and their trousers. You can't change the shoes directly, they kind of change with the trousers, just the whole bottoms or pants or have what you want to call it wherever you're from but you know you've got the head and the face top gloves and bottom now here we're going to go through some of the more individual assets so before we went through everything now it's the individuals so this is the gloves that we're seeing to start with here and i'm just going to be going through the male side as well because again very similar to the female just slight differences and now let's go on to the top so you see we've got police officer general coat, good stuff like this as well as the astronaut, lots of great different stuff in here. Again this is all stylized but you can also edit these materials as well so he said that you can change the materials, you can change the meshes, the face, anything like that. It's very easy to do. Next up we've got the winter forest set. Now this is amazing as well. We've got 30 different meshes, 77 textures, 33 materials, lots of great stuff for us to have. So we've got bushes, trees, snow, snow textures, rocks, mountains for the background, all this amazing stuff that you'd want to create your own snowy forest scene. And it doesn't even need to be a forest, you can see we just have basic snowy stuff, so snowy branches, trees, rocks, all this great stuff which you can utilize in your games or just a quick scene like that as well. So again, there's more information on all the individual components in this on the marketplace. Again, we've got grass, snow piles, fallen branches, twigs, rocks, trees, bushes, and other rock clusters as well. And they do also have the collision on them as well, so the collision works perfectly. And again, you can see on screen now we have that mountain in the background, so that's great. If you don't have anything in the background, you can just put up a mountain like that, and it looks amazing. Next up, we've got the bossy enemy animation pack. In this we don't actually have a mesh, but we have a lot of different animations which you can use mainly for a boss, that's what it's designed for, but you can use this for anything you want, so this could be your character as well. So we have 7 attack animations, 1 staggered, 1 parried, 1 battle entrance, 4 reaction hits, 4 walking, 1 running and 1 idle. Now these are both root motion and in place, meaning you can either use the root motion or in place ones in your game, depending on which one you prefer. So right now I'm showing you the in place ones as they're both the exact same, just obviously root motion is moving forwards unless you enable root motion to keep it in place obviously. So you see here we have some reactions for if they're hit. Here we have some for them attacking the player or anything you want because again this could be you, this could be the boss, the enemy, 
anything, all we've got is we've got the great animations to use. And this is also rigged to the epic skeleton. So it includes this one red character mesh here, but you probably wouldn't want to use that, but it is rigged to the epic skeleton as shown by this mannequin here. So this is a total of 33 animations, 14 root motion and 19 in place. We have some more attack animations here. So we've got heavy attacks, slam attacks. We have that combo attack as well. And again, here's some more attacks. So again, mainly attacks. That's what this mostly consists of. But again, if this is your boss enemy, that makes sense. And here's the movement ones. So we've got the running and we've got the walking in four different directions. So walking forwards, left, right, and backwards, all while looking forward, so at the player, if that's how you want it to look. And now we've got the supermarket, and this is filled with tons of great stuff. So we've got 807 meshes, 300 plus of which are unique, 15 master materials and 89 material instances, so you get a lot of customization with it, 291 textures, it does have collision, most of them is auto-generated, so you might want to mess about with that yourself to get it working better for you. But we have lots of different props and walls and modular packs that you can use to make your own supermarket. And you can see as well the material is reflective. So we have the lights reflecting on them, which gives kind of that cheap fake ray tracing, which obviously doesn't look as good, but it still looks great. So as you saw, we have the walls all around it. We've got the floors, we've got the shopping carts, we've got the aisles with the food on them, the banners, signs, advertising, fridges, all this great stuff which you need to make your own supermarket. So this is good for any type of game that you want. So I can imagine this working really well in a horror game. You're going through the supermarket late at night or you're working at the supermarket, anything like that. It really is just up to you to utilize this to make it perfect and really look great. But again, one feature which I like here is the reflective surface of the floor and just how much they put in here. So you've got all the tiny details of all these different props on the shelves. You see all these are just individual foods which they've textured and modeled and all this good stuff. And we've got the entrance and exit tills as well here. And then this is also just an overview of the whole room which they've set up. And finally, we've got the industrial area hangar. This has got 138 meshes, 61 materials and 199 textures. Again, this is perfect for anything you want. So this looks kind of abandoned in the example they've given, but you can use this however you want. So it's good for kind of an industrial area, given the name. We've got these crates, rubbish, the roads, the buildings, the hangar itself, all this amazing stuff which you might want to use. And we've also got the lights in here as well. And the grass, the telephone poles, or the electricity pylons, all this good stuff, and the outer walls as well. And like I said earlier, this is kind of the whole area with the crates. They've all piled it up, which again, this would be good for a first person shooter or anything like that, hiding around, running through the crates, or again, even a horror game. It's really, like I said, it's up to you to utilize these to get them perfect for you. A lot of these can work in any genre that you like. So we've got the modular house and hangar, the drilling platform, a few tanks containers of different colors, railway carriage of different colors, we've got roads, floor slabs, lamp posts, fences of both metal and concrete, piles of garbage or rubbish, concrete blocks, garbage or rubbish containers, wall bracket lamps, water heaters and transfer poles. So again that's their list of what it is. And then here we have all the module parts as well. So we've got all the props, all the roads, all the walls, all the buildings, the hangers, all this stuff which you can use to make your own scene. So you don't have to use their one, you can use this to make your own scene as well. And again, these do also have collision. Once again, they're automatically generated, so you might want to redo them yourself if they're not perfect. But when I was going through it earlier, they all seemed great to me. I didn't seem to have any issues with them. So I'm not going to be showing all the props again, as there's quite a few which is obviously great that there's a lot, but I won't be going through them all. This is just a brief overview of some of the main ones, but there are still more in here. This is some of the train carriages, next to some of the crates as well. And then that's some of the walls and the gate as well. And then now, we're also going to be going through the building. So this is the front of the modular building, so you can build your own. There's the walls, the doors, the windows, 
all that good stuff and then that building there is kind of a loading spot for lorries so the lorry would park in there unload load on so we're going to go inside there now that's what it looks like inside and then this is the back of the buildings as well so that'll be it for this month's free assets again it's five ones all of which are amazing i think my personal favorite this month is the stylized modular character as it gives you a lot of customization for players to make their own character obviously character customization is quite a popular thing in games it's just that one little nice feature which gives the player their own input in the game before it starts and it makes their experience unique from everyone else's so let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite is and also any tips on improving this video as this is the first one i've actually done of the monthly assets so let me know if there's anything else you want me to add anything you want me not to do anything you want me to say anything you want me to not say i'm really open to feedback and constructive criticism so i can keep on improving these videos to get them better for you as obviously i want these to be the best for you i want them to be helpful informative just in general good for you guys so let me know how to improve them and what else you'd like to see and remember as well i've got the links to all of these in the description down below so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one